I want the Israeli to feel, uh, to know or to realize how the Palestinians feel about the Nakba. He feels that the Holocaust ended in 45 when the concentration camps were liberated. But his uh, Nakba continues till this very day without any solution. Nakba literally means catastrophe. It's a name that Palestinians have given to a series of events that took place 70 years ago in 1948, starting with the creation of the State of Israel, the destruction of Palestinian society, the political fragmentation of the Palestinian people, and most importantly, the ethnic cleansing of about 60% of the Palestinian people. Literally every charge and accusation made in Israel is a projection of the Arab and sometimes Christian and Islamic intents towards the Jews. So the notion that Israel is an apartheid state is a claim that is made precisely by the two civilizations who have for millennia practiced structural discrimination, persecution, and subjugation of the Jews. All this Israeli oppression will not break our will. We're in the 21st century. We do not need no Jewish majority state. It is a humiliating experience to live under occupation with the prior knowledge that this occupation will not end. My grandfather is the one who left his impression, most impression on me. He was the one who nearly raised me, and he was the one to whom I looked up to. And he was the one who had the vision for the future. In 1948, when we left, he was the one who was so rich in West Jerusalem and left everything behind to go to East Jerusalem. And instead of sitting there, and mourning about his lost paradise. He started all over again. Went, actually saw this building that was trashed. It was, it used to be a hotel. So he took it over and rebuilt it. And he ne never knew anything about hotel hospitality. And he became the owner of the best hotel in town. He came uh, one afternoon to the house to find that his wife had gone to the uh, uh, Anarwa UN Refugee Agency and got a card as a refugee and which entitled her to get food and to get some money and to get some uh, uh, clothes and things. And so she was very proud that she had done that for the family to help. And he got extremely upset, tore the card, asked her to give back all the things she brought in. And he said, I'm not a refugee. And so in this way, he taught me that to be a refugee is a set of mind. You, you are the one who decides whether you want to sit, do nothing, or you want to go and start all over again. I uh, joined the American University of Beirut to study engineering in 64. Between uh, 67 and 75, I was uh, with Fatah. Fatah is the National Liberation Movement for Palestine. And I was involved uh, with that movement as a freedom fighter. Their main idea was to launch operations against uh, Israel, guerrilla warfare against Israel. The idea came up from the Viet Cong in Vietnam. What happened, happened. The past is past. Now the question is, what are they willing to do about it? And this is the question that, okay, you have, you do not want even to acknowledge your role in the 1948 Nakba. You do not want to acknowledge that there is a Nakba. Now, you do not even want to acknowledge there is an occupation. And uh, you do not want to acknowledge there are refugees and there is a problem. Now, how can you live with that? This is my question.